everybody. Um, been a busy couple days. You know, Tina went in for a procedure on her back and um, took a couple days off. And I picked up the next project. Take a look at what it is here. Eighty-five Pontiac Fiero. We'll wait on the Buford to get by in his big dually diesel. All right, eighty-five Pontiac Fiero, four-cylinder, five-speed. Uh, power windows, power locks, no, no air conditioning. It's got cruise control though. I don't know. I'd rather have air than cruise. Uh, it is not the Euro package. It is not a GT. It's just an SE. So it's got the pointier front end on it. Um, doesn't have the Euro side moldings. Uh, just the SE on the quarter window. Uh, back window got hit with a rock out of a lawnmower or something goofy like that. Um, Luggage rack instead of a spoiler. Don't like that. Don't like these big bumperette things on the molded into the rear bumper cover. Um, basically, just a straightforward car. We just kind of cleaned it up a little bit. It's been setting for. How long has it been setting? Close to. 10 years that I know of because it's been sitting behind our place. Um, little four cylinder with a five speed, you can see water dripping everywhere. Uh, I didn't clean up inside very much because we're gonna borrow a pressure washer and clean it all out. Um, very little trunk space. As you know, these are mid engine cars. Uh, plan is for right now to get the four cylinder going again, try to save some gas money. Later on, who knows, maybe a, maybe a small block in the works. Um, interior, pretty clean. It's got some grass in it and stuff. Uh, I got in and out of it to move it around a few times after mowing. And the windows were left down for a little bit during the nice weather. and Grass got in it. Kids climbed in it. Ugh. It's got 146,000 miles. Dash isn't really all that bad. Got a spot over there at the uh, vent duct. Pretty nasty looking. Might have to do something with that. Um, the seat, the tan seats came out of my 86 Fiero GTSE that I had. Um, this car didn't have any seats in it. And I took these out of my 86 when I restored it and I put all because it had the tan that nasty tan from the 80s I hate that ugly it shows every stain anyway it had that in here or in there so I pulled these seats out and I replaced it all with the gray leather similar to this the the darker gray I don't know I don't like the combination of the dark and light so it'll probably get facelift in here too um, it's got tilt like I said cruise um, everything but air and it's got the five speed of course that is a massive stick for this little of a car so it's gonna lead for some slow shifts unless I get a short throw shifter which I can get got the overhead console with the lights headliner sagging t-top or er, t-tops Sunroof doesn't leak. It was left open. Oops. It was left open so there's some water stains. Let's see what's under the hood. We know the engine's in the back. Uh, under the hood we got the little tiny radiator. A little bitty fan. I don't know if that's going to be sufficient for a small block or not. I know it's not. All right, I've already got a plan worked out for that. Uh, overflow jug, windshield washer fluid. Got the factory jack. 
jack handle down in the bottom with a bunch of leaves and whatnot. Like I said, we just rinsed this off real quick to see how bad it really was. Uh, you can see up here, we're down into the primer uh, just from fade and wear and years of setting, being neglected, drying out. In order to close a hood on one of these, you don't just slam it. You got to lift up on it a little bit, push forward on your release, all the way past the second one, and let her drop. Uh, front bumper cover I do not like. I don't like the straight drop point deal. Um, see the 85 Fiero emblem is a little different than the, the others. I don't care for it either. Um, this right here, I'll show you what it attributed to that. Got this down to the uh, uh, th this is a reinforced injection molded uh, urethane bumper cover is all that is. So they got down into the in molded coat covering of that and what did that was this thing here everybody thought it was cool to put a bra on their car uh, no it's not they grew moss look at that all the years of water laying under it wore on the paint when they were driving it it slapped up and down you can see right here and right here where it was slapping up and down as they drive just made a, a terrible mess of the whole front of the car uh, popped through to the uh, inner substrate of the fender I don't know like I said I just I picked this up I bought it from my buddy that we were gonna redo a couple of them. I did mine. He didn't get a chance to do his. He uh, fell victus, victim to some health issues. Um, but it is what it is. I'm gonna try to take advantage of it and save some gas mileage. The thing about the, these cars, okay, a lot of you are gonna say, oh, they're a death trap. Fire hazard and this and that and the other. Um, yeah, there were some fires and people got killed in them, but no more than any other vehicle, okay? Um, the parts car that I had for my 86, actually we bought with this car as a package deal. The guy got hit head on by a drunk driver. The guy was driving a full size pickup truck. It was a three quarter ton four wheel drive. Both of them were going at least 50 and that pickup truck stopped right here right at the firewall okay um it didn't even get to the windshield the windshield was in great condition uh right up until i tried to take one of these wiper arms off and i, I broke it but you know it is what it is Every body panel you take off this thing is going to be fiberglass, but there is what's called a space frame, okay? Every place that you see red on this car, except for the hood and trunk lid, is bolted on over top of a piece of steel, okay? So, save me the stories of that. I got friends that are in the Fiero Club, and I've had three or four of them, and I've to add them apart and back together and everything else. Uh, the fire issues were fuel inadequate fuel lines from the tank to the induction system. So uh, anyway, there's what it is. A uh, few hundred dollars pickup car that's hopefully going to save me a, at least twice that in gas. So needs a clutch. We'll see what happens from there. But. Like I said, thanks everybody. Uh, we'll see what happens from here. Catch you on the next one. Thanks.